Hi everybody. So today I've got a an order from a cherry on top. Uh, this is my first time ordering from them. So um, it took actually um, a while to, for it to get to me. I ordered this, um, when did I order this? I ordered this, I believe it was the week of Snowpocalypse when I was working remotely at home and I was just like dying to like leave the house and go shopping. But obviously I could not because one, I was working and two, there was 10 inches on the ground and there's no way in hell I'm gonna be able to drive on that. Here in the South, we don't know how to drive on snow, um, much less ice. And we don't have as many snow plows as they do in the East Coast, in the Northern states. They're used to that kind of snow, we're not. We never get 10 inches. The most we probably ever get would be like an inch, maybe even less than an inch. So um, that was really, really rare for us to get. So anyways, this is the invoice and here is my order. Um, this actually came in today. Uh, it was it had shipped on February 22nd and then for whatever reason, just kind of like sat there in Michigan. Um, and it's supposed to take two days to get to me and they shipped at FedEx and hello, I live in Memphis where the hub is. <laughs> so I didn't understand why I couldn't get something that was from, Fe you know, that was shipped FedEx and yet I could get UPS deliveries pretty easily. So let's get started. Okay. So I have these two ephemera packs. Now these are from Cartabella, one of my favorite companies. This is from the Our Travel Adventure um, collection. And I really like the um, vintage look when it comes to travel stuff. And um, this is by one of my favorite um, designers for Cartabella. Uh, I can't think of the name off the top of my head, but I follow him on Instagram. If I do find his Instagram account, I'll link it in the description. So these are the, let me get up closer so you can see, and I'm trying to avoid the glare. These are the ephemera pieces that you get. I know I need to stop buying travel related stuff because one, I'm not traveling. Who is in um, the pandemic? But you know, I guess it's okay to stock up once, um, you know, so in the event that the pandemic is over this year, then we can all go back to traveling again and I'll have plenty of stuff to use. So um, I only got one die and I like this die because it's a, it has that crocheted doily look. So this is by Dress My Craft. And as you can see, it does say crochet doily. It's pretty small. Here's my hand. Okay. And uh, yeah, I do like this. I'm, I've never bought from this brand before, so I hope that it cuts pretty well. Okay. So then I also got this sticker book. Now this is from Simple, Simple Stories, the Simple Vintage Cottage Fields. I think this is a new um, collection that just came out. And I did get some of the paper, which you will see, but I liked the fact that it had all of these, you know, pretty um, flower themed, you know, style. And I just like the colors, very soft, muted. Um, and I'm, I kind of do need stuff like this, like little um, sayings and stuff. So yeah, happy about this one. And then of course I couldn't resist, I got the, um, Cartabella, again, Our Travel Adventure. It's the sticker book also. This has got 16 pages. So here is what is in there, because I'll do a very fast um, flip through. And um, these are much more like thicker than your usual um, sticker book type paper or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, this, see, this is pretty thin, but um, yeah, I mean, it was really hard not to get the whole line, you know? <laughs> so, okay, so we'll put these aside. And then I also got uh, what? the paper. So I didn't get a lot of paper as I would probably because I was afraid that, okay, I'm gonna buy this and then three months later, it'll show up at 
Tuesday morning and I could get like a pack of 25 for like four, three or four ninety nine, right? So I only got like two of each of what I did pick. So this is from the Simple Vin uh, I'm sorry, Simple Stories, the Simple Village Vintage Cottage Field. I love this whole like um, aqua, you know, very muted with the butterflies, but I also like this side too. Um, kind of like a watercolor kind of collage kind of look. So I did get two because, you know, double sided and I'm torn between which side to use. Okay. Then I got, well, I'll put that underneath. I got this one right here also from the same collection. It's just so gorgeous. I mean, I could not resist getting this. I just love this look. And this is the, um, the other side, also really good. This would have made a really good traveler's notebook um, cover because, you know, you just have to fold it that way, right? And then this would be so beautiful on the inside. I don't know. If, I'm, if they ever show up at Tuesday morning, I might just buy the whole pack, right? So yes, so I got two of the same, okay? Um, then from the same line again, this time, so hold on here, let me look at this again. At the difference, did I get two or did I get four? No, okay, so they're different. All right, so from the same collection, so we've got this gorgeous floral, and then on the other side, polka dots with that very faded, almost like a pink, peachy kind of look. I'm not sure. Um, so I got two of those. And then from the um, Cartabella line here of the Our Travel Adventure, I did pick up two of the cut aparts. Okay. I'm really big into cut aparts. I like them because I like putting them in my traveler's notebook decorating around them okay now I love Cartabella paper because it's textured and it's really really thick it's such excellent quality paper and then another one from the same collection these are actually I only got one these are stamps okay which I can cut out all right the other side is just like that airmail um, you know type of thing Then I got this one right here. I only got like one of each. So this one has got um, the passport with the binoculars and the camera and with the signs. But it also, this is the reason why I got it because it has, you know, the map. So this would look good um, as a background. Okay. I also got this um, cut apart. I think I got two of those. No, I did not. So this one right here, it's that whole vintage look again with the cut apart. So I do like, um, yeah, this old look right here of like the US with Europe, you know, Italy, another with Europe again. Um, and I can give some of these to my mom because she has gone to, I know that she's crossed the Panama Canal. I believe she has. So she can use some of these. Okay, next one is another one with um, with the map again. And it's just a regular, you know, the blue. This has got the gold, I mean, the gold, the globe um, pattern on it. Okay, and then we've got another one here, another cut apart, all from the same collection again. And this is the back side, which looks more like a ledger. Okay, and then last one here. This is the, um, I forgot what you call these. I just think of them as strips, but you can still use them. You know, I use them in my traveler's notebook. And then it's got the vintage cameras on the back, which I do like. I should have bought two because I do like this one with the cameras. And that is it. That's my haul from a cherry on top. So I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you guys are having a great week. Bye-bye.